the seniors. Charles Jock is here. He's the reigning NCAA champion from Cal Irvine. His parents were from Sudan. He was born in Ethiopia. And now uh, here he is, a U.S. citizen, competing in the 800 final. Tom, this young man has scary talent. Six three and a half, as you mentioned, just 22 years old, so he's new to the event, relatively speaking. But he has to be careful. Jock loves to go out really fast, and that could cost him toward the end in a stretch run kick. Here are the lane assignments. With Nick Simmons in lane three, and Charles Jock in lane six. And in lane five is Kadibus Robinson, four-time U.S. champion. Four years ago, he said after he finished fourth, it was the worst experience ever. And so Kadibus at 35, with all the experience, hopes that he can come here and avoid that Oregon sweep, which everybody in the stands is thinking about, and make sure that he can be in the top three. Tyler Mulder and Elijah Greer from Oregon are also in the field with uh, Simmons. Remember 2008? Three Eugene-based runners made the U.S. team. On your mark. Nick Simmons hoping to add another title as they're on their way in the 800 final. And I'm also going to be watching Dwayne Sullivan, who I believe has the absolute talent to be in the top three to see if he can really run some smart splits. Solomon right now is in second position behind Charles Chop. Solomon in the red. If he can come through at 118 for 600 meters, he might be in good shape according to his coach, Johnny Gray, who's in the stands, the American record holder and the Olympic trials record holder. Jock leads Solomon. Greer is third. Martin is fourth. And then Robinson and then Simmons, followed by Mulder. So this is perfect for the rest of this field. The older guys toward the back here, as you see Kadivas Robinson in the back trying to measure his run. And there's a younger guy in the front there, Charles Jock, who has his signature fast first split. Let's see what this quarter mile comes through at. 49.86, which is exactly what we expected to see. And there's Dwayne, who has to be right on his heels, Solomon right there. Final lap, and Jock leads. Solomon second, Greer is third, Martin is fourth, Simmons had his advance to fifth. Mulder is now in sixth, Robinson seventh, down the back stretch, and Solomon up to challenge for the lead. Solomon passes Jock, here comes Green to challenge, and Martin too, and Simmons kicks it into gear. Turning for home, Solomon in front, Nick Simmons on his heels to challenge, Jock is back to third, and then Greer. Home straightaway looms, Solomon has the lead. Can Simmons catch him and get title number five? Home straightaway! Simmons goes to the front. Nick Simmons leads. It starts to pull away from Solomon. Davis Robinson trying to close at the line. Simmons, champion, five in a row. So Nick Simmons once again shows his dominance at Hayward Field. And the emotion, Tom, has come over Dwayne Solomon, who has finally realized his talent at the most important moment. And Kadivas Robinson. Dwayne Solomon, who had to achieve the London A standard, did it in this race. He is in with an embrace from his coach. Simmons wins it. Kadimus Robinson and William Solomon achieving the A standard and making the U.S. team. Well, it was Simmons time, Tom, as they crossed the 400 meters and they got to that back stretch here as the rain began to fall. But look at Simmons. Moving up on the outside, and I mean, he had a great kick. He passes Charles Jock, and now he has his sights set on Dwayne Solomon. Right now, Simmons has to know that he's on the Olympic team, but it's not about that at this point. Now it's about winning another title in Hayward Field. I'm so impressed with how Simmons just fuses that curve to swing off of it and just motor down the field. Look at Solomon now trying to hold on, wondering what's going to happen. And Kadivas Robinson exercising the defense of four years ago, all three headed to London. Nick Simmons has done it again at Hayward Field. And Solomon celebrates a third, the time standard to earn a trip to London. And his coach, Johnny Gray, him 
embracing him afterwards. A great runner himself. And Tom, I trained with Johnny Gray and ran with him for many years. He was a beast on the track, and he told me before the race, just before the gun went off, how nervous he was for his young man when he had given him the plan, and Solomon finally executed. Good job. Thank you. Let's go down to Dwight with Nick Simmons. Davis Robinson, the veteran, getting up for second, and Blaine Solomon, third. That's your U.S. team for London, Simmons, Robinson, and Solomon. And Kadivas Robinson, back to the Olympic Games. And Blaine Solomon, not only did the 27-year-old make the U.S. team, but he achieved the London A standard. But Nick Simmons, now hoping for bigger and better at the Olympics in London. Thank you, Thank you, NBC. Thank you, Hanson.